Hello everyone, welcome to Donna Just Being Real, The Only Way to Be. And we're going to get into this topic, and the topic is Diddy's ex, Kim Porter, on his relationship with Jennifer Lopez. He fell for the big booty and smile, Kim Porter says. Hmm, interesting. So, um, welcome to my channel, Donna Just Being Real, The Only Way to Be. And my channel is about dating, love, relationship, talks, relationship, advice channel. And sometimes I try, um, touch on true crimes of passion. And if that's your type of commentary, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And also, share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Tell me, did you hear about this? Did you know about all these, this, this stuff that I'm about to read? And also, we're going to get into a couple of Diddy's relationships. It seemed like Diddy be with women for a very long time, but he doesn't seem to want to commit. It seemed like he has commitment issues. Oh, well, we're going to get into this one. And also, let me know that you know about this too. And also, let's get it. Okay, I found this article, and I'm going to read this article, and it came from Showbiz Cheat Sheet, and it came out January 1st, 2022. And the article is called Diddy's ex, Kim Porter, on his relationship with Jennifer Lopez. He fell for the big booty and smile. Mm. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about this um, Kim Porter and and Diddy. Because a lot of things here, I didn't even know about this. So I'm going to share it with y'all. Let me know, like I said in the comment section, did you know about it? All right, let me read the article. Out of all the women that he has dated in his life, Diddy says that Kim Porter is the one who got away. He especially felt that way after Kim Porter died in 2018 of pneumonia. The two were together off and on for 13 years, and Porter even took him back after embarrassing left her for Jennifer Lopez. So I didn't know that he was with, with Kim Porter, and she was pregnant, and he was cheating on her with Jennifer Lopez. And Jennifer Lopez, you knew this? Insane. Hmm. Let me resume reading. But after Diddy fathered a child by another woman, here goes another woman. Another one, Porter had enough. She then remained close friends, and Porter never mounts words when it came to how she felt about Diddy's relationship with the Selena star, that's Jennifer Lopez. Diddy began dating Jennifer Lopez while Kim Porter was pregnant with their first child. The hip-hop mogul began dating the model in 1994. By 1997, she was pregnant with their first child. Diddy was secretly began seeing Lopez simultaneously, simultaneously in 1998, and he didn't tell Porter. So he was cheating on you while you was pregnant. God, oh, come on, Diddy. Really, Diddy? All right. A friend called my cell phone, Porter told Essence Magazine. Okay, so this is something that came up in Essence Magazine. Let me, where is it? Okay, there it goes. A friend called my cell phone, Porter told Essence Magazine in 2006. Then a few weeks later, the press hit. Porter said that she couldn't escape Lopez and Diddy's romance. Everywhere I went, people were asking, are you okay? I just hated that, she said. People just believed everything that they saw in print and that they were talking to me like I was really crushed. But I didn't have, I had, but I just had a baby. I couldn't be somewhere in a corner heartbroken. I have kids. I'm a grown woman. And I applaud you for that, you know, Kim Porter. Is that you have to stay strong because you have kids. Now, if you all know, the first child Kim Porter had, she had by Al B. Shore. And I believe that Diddy adopted their, you know, her first child by Al B. Shore. Yeah. So that's very nice of you, Diddy, to do. Okay, let me resume reading. Okay. Uh, let's get into this one. All right, she kicked um, she kicked Diddy out of their home after she found out about the relationship with Lopez. Combs and Porter were still living together when he began a relationship with Lopez. She kicked him out and Diddy emphasized that it was his house. Porter immediately changed the locks on the home to prevent Diddy from having access. Mm, mm, mm. 
okay, I told him someone's got to go and it is not going to be me and these kids. She recalled. Combs moved into a motel and continued to try to prey on Porter's life. It was like my life was not my own, Porter remembered. He was very, very intrusive. Ooh, it was something else. Okay. To set boundaries, they went to family court to hash out a visitation agreement. Combs didn't stick to it, which irritated Porter. He would say that he needed to see his son, but I was at a place where just the sight of him would turn my stomach, Porter said. My feelings was, you made the decision. Now stay over there. I can't repeat everything I said at that time because it was really not that ladylike. But I was very expressive about it. Kim Porter and, and Diddy was caught up in the hype of Jennifer Lopez. So Kim Porter said that Diddy was caught up in the hype of Jennifer Lopez. Hmm. Okay. Porter never believed Diddy and Lopez would last. He just got caught up in the hype, she said. And my man is Mr. Hype. <laughs> yeah, we do know Diddy is Mr. Hype. That relationship wasn't real. The world just saw the bright lights and the camera, but I knew that was what was really going on. He was still in love with me. Mm, that's what they say. That's what they say. Porter added that Diddy became en enamored with Lopez because she had a big booty and a smile and admit that she used to tell him that once he was done with the little Puerto Rican girlfriend, he'll be back, according to Porter. Even while he was with Lopez, he kept trying to win her back. No one knew that part, she said. This is what Kim Porter said. He was calling, calling 50 to 60 times a day. Sometimes I wouldn't even talk to him because I was so angry. I couldn't be nice, Kim. I had to be, you know, that blank. Like, this is not going down. Hmm. Porter even forbid Diddy from having Jennifer Lopez around their son, saying, does she look like the type that would want to play house and family with two little black kids? Question mark. No. Jennifer Lopez responded to Kim Porter's comments. After hearing about the interview, Lopez refused to respond in full to Porter's to um, Porter's to full to Porter. I am not going to go there. She told the New York Post that she reported by she told New York Post as reported by Hollywood.com. Look, she knows what went on. I know what went on, and that is where we have to leave it. I'm not going to discuss any of the details of this intimate relationship that I had with the public. It's just not that necessary. Ooh. Okay. Lopez quickly moved on from Diddy, marrying backup singer Chris Judge. You remember that, right? She did marry that backup singer. She just, just met him and then they got married. It's right after she broke up with Diddy and saying, okay. She said that she and Diddy's relationship ended because of the lifestyle differences. Their breakup came a year after she and Diddy were arrested at the nightclub amid his um, criminal trial related to the nightclub shooting incident. So that's the end of the article. You all remember that situation at the nightclub with um, Diddy, Shine, I believe it's Shine, Diddy, Shine, and Jennifer Lopez was just a big mess. And too bad that ruined, like, Shine's career because he was an excellent rapper. That ruined his career. Uh, Jennifer Lopez, she was like, I'm done. She left him. And Diddy, nothing ever happened to Diddy. He didn't, nobody pressed charges or anything like that. I don't know. I can't remember the whole story. It was so long ago, but it was insane. Now, let's get into another relationship that he had. Now, on the show here, these are three women he's with. Now, the, the first woman on your left, that's Kim Porter, correct? Now, the woman in the middle, that's the woman that had his first child. I don't know her name. You'd have to look it up. That's his, had his first child. And the woman at the end, this is when Kim Porter took Sean Combs back, and he cheated on her again while she was pregnant with their second child when, he had, when she had the twins, right? And the woman at the end on... On your right, she had a baby just a few weeks before she had her twins, Kim Porter. This is insane. 
you know, these people just be cheating all over the place. Nobody believe in condoms. This is just the same. I know that must be an emotional stressful thing for you, Kim Porter, and embarrassing and everything. It's like you're taking this man back. He apologizes, then he just goes back and do the same thing again. But let me give a little bit of dating advice on this one, ladies and gentlemen. You know, if you're in a relationship with a guy and you're looking for a serious, committed relationship and you've been together for a minute and usually it takes about a good dating, a year and a half to know that if you want to be spending the rest of your life with a person or not, it doesn't take that much to take that much time if you're doing some serious dating. And if the person is not proposing to you, ladies, and he's not proposing to you, want to commit to you, he's just not that into you. He's not looking for a commitment. And especially if the man told you from the get-go, he doesn't want a serious and committed relationship. Or maybe he does, but it's just not with you. It might be with someone else. You're just not that one for him that he wants to commit and settle down with the rest of your life. So you have to, you have to let it go. You cannot waste your time in a relationship anymore, you know? So you can't really blame the guy. I've got to blame you, ladies, for staying around thinking you're going to get something or not. And that's a problem for us, ladies. We always think we're going to change the man. Oh, if I just hang in, if I just do this and do that, he'll just change. No, it doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. But let me get into another relationship that um that P. Diddy was in. He was in a relationship. Yeah, P. Diddy, we're talking about you today. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, P. Diddy was with this woman named Cassie. And him and Cassie was together. Um, they got together 2007 to 2018. And she's a singer. And I believe she had a, a, a like a one-hit song, sad to say. And she was with him for like so many years, 2007, 2018. They broke up just before Kim Porter had passed away. And... But I'm so happy for her because she finally found love. She found a man that wanted to marry her. His name, his name is Alex. Alex Fine. Yes, his name is Alex Fine. And that was actually their personal trainer. So he proposed to her. He married her. And they have a family together. They have a beautiful child together. So she got she got her ring and she found a man who loves her who adores her and wants to spend the rest of his life with her because she gave him a big chunk of her time with p diddy and she never got a ring or nothing no children or anything and i believe she's young i think she gave him like a whole 20s and ladies i hate to say it but let's just be real women have a time clock okay men don't so you cannot be wasting your time. So you can't really fault the men. You have to fault yourself sometimes because you just, you know, you're wasting your time thinking, oh, he's going to change if I just hang in a little bit longer. A year and a half of serious dating. I'm not talking about off and on. Serious dating, ups and downs, holidays, everything, introducing each other's families, sharing your thoughts, you know, with each other, future goals, and when included to each other. That's all you need to know. So if you're still with the person and not giving you that ring, it's time to move on, ladies. Find yourself someone else. Now let's get back to Diddy. Diddy, I don't know. I don't know who he's dating right now. I don't know if he's in another relationship with anybody. Most likely he is. But if anybody's serious, I don't know. If anybody do know, share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. I would like to know. So that's just about it. Just I'm going to end this one. I just want to talk a little bit about what Diddy, because this was interesting, this article, because I didn't know that he was with Kim Porter and she was pregnant and he was sneaking around with Jennifer Lopez on the side, then dumped Kim Porter to be with Jennifer Lopez. And then he got Kim Porter back. And then she got pregnant again with twins. And then he turned around cheating on her with another woman. And then this woman had had his had a baby girl a few weeks before she had her twins. Oh my gosh, it's just it's just such a mess. It's just such a mess. People just don't believe in condoms, do they? They really don't. All right, so that's just the end of it, ladies and gentlemen. Share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Make sure you hit the like button and share, 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 share with others. Thank you. Coming to Donna, just being real, the only way to be.